This is really part three of a three-part video series. So in the first video, I showed you how to upload files to the Files tool in Canvas. Then I followed that with a video showing you how to make a home page with links to those files in the Files tool. The home page looked something like this. If you've got a lot of files, though, that you're sharing with students, um, and I'll let you be the judge of how many is a lot. <laughs> But if this page just starts getting a little unwieldy and you're scrolling a lot, it's getting hard for students to find what they need to find, then you might consider creating modules to organize your files in Canvas. That's what I'm going to show you in this video, is how to create modules to organize your Canvas files. So let me go over to a different class. So here's the class in which I want to make those modules. You're going to go to the Modules tool. And this, of course, assumes that you've already got the files uploaded. And I do. This is what I showed you in that first video, was creating folders and uploading the files to those folders. So they're nice and organized behind the scenes, but I don't want to give students access to the files tool. I've decided to use the modules tool. So I'm going to create a module for every um, kind of file that I have. And this is going to be really up to you how you want to organize these files. Um, if we were going to go by the same names that we used in the files tool. I had general course documents as one of my modules, one of my folders. I could create another folder, another module called PowerPoints. And then I could create another module called research assignment resources, right? That would correspond to the same folder names that I used in my files. Now when I'm ready to add my files to these, I would hit the Add button, and then in the drop-down list, I would select File. It's going to show me all the files that I already have in my course. So it's going to show me my general course documents. There's one. If I hold down Control, I can actually add two of these at a time. So I'll add item. I've now added two files to my module. That's the little paperclip icon indicates that this is a file that's been added. I can do the same thing for PowerPoints. I'll hit the plus sign, and then it's already selected file. It remembered my selection from last time, and I can go through and add, oops, if I hold down shift, it'll let me select all of those, and I'll add all those PowerPoints to the PowerPoints module. Same for research assignment resources. I'll click the add button, and I'll go in and add all of my files that I need into that module. I need to make sure that the modules themselves are published. So right now, the modules are unpublished or hidden from students. So if I want those to be seen, I would open those up, publish them for my students to be able to have access to them. So that's one way of organizing your files in modules is just by file type, right? Um, think though that you could also start organizing this by week. So you could create a module that was, let's say, week one and put all of the resources that they're going to need in week one. So maybe that would include the, and we can open these up and drag and drop. So that maybe they would need the schedule and the syllabus for week one. Maybe they would need the PowerPoint for week one and maybe nothing yet for the research assignment resources. Then we could create another module for week two. Add module. And maybe that module, if I go into my stacked dots here, I can edit that. Maybe that module, I want it to not be opened until, and I could put in exactly what date is week two starting, and I want that to open on August 26th. So that will remain locked until August 26th at midnight, at which time Canvas will automatically open that. And in that one, let's say I wanted lecture week two, and maybe I'm ready to give them some assignment, the introduction on the research assignment, um, and uh, whatever. Yeah, you get the point. So modules allow you to organize files. They would also allow you to add, as you saw, assignments, quizzes, discussions. So you can do a lot with the modules. In fact, that's what we've used to organize the Mesa Canvas Learning Center. Um, if you go, let me pull this over. 
um, our Mesa Canvas Learning Center is organized into modules. And so we have um, pages, Canvas pages, as well as discussions, assignments, more pages, files, links. So it's just a nice, think of it as a container that allows you to sequence content and activities in Canvas. So it's a really nice option as you look for ways to organize your files um, in your Canvas course. So this kind of wraps up our organizing your files in Canvas. Again, we started with the first video shows you how to do this, how to just create folders and upload files to those folders in Canvas. You certainly could just open up the files tool to your students and allow them access to your files this way. If you want to add more context and more images, explanation around those files, then you'd have the option of creating that home page. So this is really just one Canvas page that links out to files. Right? It's all on one scrollable page. Students get the little preview icon and they can find uh, the content that they need all on one scrollable page. If you're sharing a whole bunch of files with your students and again you decide how much is a whole bunch, then you might consider instead creating modules for your content because you'll have a lot more opportunity to organize it. The um, a list of, of, of resources can be collapsed so that it's not taking up much room on the screen. You also have a lot more flexibility in terms of hiding and showing um, the uh, modules that you've created with your students. And you can either do that by content type um, or you can do it chronologically by week across your course. Uh, lots of options there with modules. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if you've got questions and thanks for watching.